My name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the Lux look for less. In today's video, we're going shopping. This is a shop with me video and we're going to all of our favorite stores. We're headed to Home Goods, Pottery Barn, and a few other places too. So if you love any of those stores, this is the video for you. Before we start shopping though, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. But let's head into Home Goods. Isn't this cool? Why is it a book? <laughs> Why is it not a book? This is the same price as Pottery Bar. Do you see that weird thing I picked up? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of pricey. Yeah, that's this pricey. Is it heavy? No. Way too Look at all those beads. Well, that's not. That's a chandelier. That's it. <laughs> it's a hundred. I feel like it's a bit much. I like it. Actually. That's a good price. Yeah, I really like that. Where did I get it? Let me think about that. I'm gonna walk around. It's definitely what you were saying last night. Yeah, I, I like that stool. Thing. I like the ribbing of that. I like this. Michael? So you guys ask me all the time, like if I ever put decor on like top of a cabinet in a kitchen, and most of the time I say no. If you're gonna do it, you wanna use a really big piece like this. Um, yes, but make sure that your cabinet actually has a top on it because most of them don't because, you know, <laughs> it's more affordable that way. It would fall through, but this is what you want. Look, it's Wayner. No, that's a Scotty. I know, I was making a joke. <laughs> he looks like Wayner though. I like this box. I like this box. This I do not like this elephant. They sell a Joanne. They do. How much is it here? $15. It's, it's like I feel like, there. yeah, it's probably similar. Show me the cover. That's pretty good. We have this. We don't have it anymore. I spilled coffee all over it. <laughs> Is it I lost her in the pillows. You don't need any pillows. My grandma would buy this in a second. Like, what would she do? She with would it? not buy. It's probably like ten dollars, and she'd be like, "Oh my god, twenty oh, dollars! Yeah. Yeah, she would never buy that." For... A boa. <laughs> <laughs> so, a color that's really going to be in is navy and more diverse design styles. It's really in, in like the mid century modern. And coastal, right? And coastal, but not, not navy. It's more of like a. This color is going to be in in the contemporary, the modern, things like that. Because color is in this here. People don't like the, the blank canvas, but it's still, you know, neutral enough. It looks good in artwork. It doesn't look too glam, kind of like, you know, gold sometimes does pink colors like that oh thank you i did not know oh yeah that's a nice one i've ever seen that mm -hmm. that's sarah brooks hi just like the joshua waste from pottery barn which starts at i think 50 dollars this one's 40 dollars so if you're into a diy or you're not near a pottery barn or you don't want to wait for it to show up this is great this also looks like those studio mickey bases from target true this those one's... like terracotta ones yeah let's see the price here yeah, $25. Also pretty decent. I like this dog pillow. My grandma would buy that too. True, she would. It doesn't look enough like Wayne, though. Why are the high ones in, you know? like. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 25 bucks. I feel like it's pretty good for a big... It is good. I really like this dog. You can't have the dog. I like the cow. <laughs> Is it actually texture or fake? It's, it's fake. fake. But it's only $130. So. 
That's pretty decent in my opinion. Oh, that's a different one. Is it the same? I oh, know it's different. <laughs> It seems like she's coming back, but most of the time, I'd honestly rather you DIY it and do it for cheaper than get art from here because I just feel like everyone has it. There's nothing wrong with that, but then if you're gonna get art everyone has, get it cheaper at like Ikea or something like that. That's my personal opinion. Or go on Etsy and get a digital print. So could this, right? Or not? Well, Both of them way. could. <laughs> I would love a mirrored entryway. That's like my dream. Let's see if they have two of the gold. And they this. do. I see it. <laughs> oh, that's like my dream. They have two of these too. Yeah, but this one looks just like this is like looks like it's ripping off the one we already have. Yeah, this yeah. one is a little bit more like muted. Yeah, this one. So they have these like RA to knock off mirrors here. They're wooden, they're definitely wooden. This is a little shiny for me, but this is wooden, 150. They also have it in black, also 150, great price. But these ones, these are the ones that are appealing to me. They have this at our house now. They also have this at RH, 130. I got two of these. These are it. Okay guys, and you can see a little OOTD I got. My Prada shoes on, which do not go with these leggings. My Spanx leggings, tank top, H&M blazer. It's like braided. <laughs> that is cool. I would like paint over it. Ooh, guys, look these that you're all like dying for right now, like in the tr um, traditional transitional style. These frames are great. That's nice. Sixty. I feel like Sixty. That's a lot I feel like that's a lot, but if you can't find it elsewhere, this straight anthropology. I love that too. I don't Only like the 16? blue undertone though. I think more gray. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like gold's the right color to complement my lights. I don't love the black. What are your thoughts? I don't know where you're gonna fit too, but I'm I'm with you. <laughs> um, let me just bring them both home yeah. and then This is a felt rug pad as opposed to like the plasticky ones and this like really makes your rug look thicker and it's actually much better we have these under all of our rugs i have a big shoe like this it's a big bag of shoe yeah you can even tell like from the side here so the texture on these is unreal they give me like the vibe of like the ferris lamps the urn lamps from RH, but they're only a hundred. I would paint over these in a second. They're so cute. These are also super cute. You could paint over this. These are the side table, a stool. These look like vessels right out of Pottery Barn. 
They are 60 bucks a piece. I don't really like the shade color to modernize it. I'd probably do like a white. These are also super cute. They kind of look cheap via these. I feel like if it wasn't as sheer, they would look a lot more high end, but they're only 35 bucks. Sophisticated because it has this border instead of it just being straight boucle or shirt or whatever you want to call it. These right now, um, I love these pillows. They're like a suede. And then these are also a fan favorite right now. And then their Faye Linen pillows are also very popular. Are those these? I think they're these. Oh yeah. We are at Pottery Barn. We love Pottery Barn. We really like that huge pillow right there. And we're also thinking about buying a sofa. I've never ever had a Okay, the real test. Yeah, it's very comfortable. It's like a, it's a lounge. I really like how big this case is. Alright guys, do you call it a chase or a chaise? Like, do you pronounce it correctly or colloquially? Yeah, it's very comfy. Have you oh, sat on it? No. It's nice. Oh, that was underwhelming. I really like the fabric though. Is this a performance, you think? It doesn't feel like it, but it's nice. I mean, like a linen-y? Why are they put performers in the store? It's like money. I feel like that would be there. smart though. Yeah. Like that chandelier above you. Who comes into a store and is like, you know what I gotta do? Spill my Slurpee. I love having this store. Like, what do you think the size? Thirty-six. It doesn't say. Thirty by thirty. It's kind of slouchy, but. Oh, yeah. He was looking at this for one of her clients. Yeah, so we have a space that like rewiring would cost a lot of money, but we really need some like interest up near the ceiling. So I want to get a chandelier like this. It has lights in it, but we don't have to put them in. But the crystals are so serious that they can really reflect the light that's going on outside. So we can kind of like compensate for that without having to mess up the ceiling because wiring can be expensive and timely. Yeah, I really like it. They do. I like her. But it's kind of like the one right She likes this. I like it too. Do you see this chair? This one's cute. Yeah. And this is her favorite chair. Yeah, it's a good price. It's $249. It just is very low. Like, are this... Yeah, it, it looks very small. You know, like... I'm, like, an above-average-sized human being, but, like, still, this is a kid chair. But you're, like, still pretty... Sh like, you're normal size tall. Yeah, I know. That's insane. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm, like, an inch taller than most people. <laughs> I love these damage prices, but I don't know. This one's nice too, but all these chairs feel super short, don't they? I feel like this one feels bigger. I like the back. This is the York Deep Upholstered Slipcover. How do you feel? That's fine. I just like wouldn't buy a sofa like this, but I think it's good. I mean, the price is incredible. It's fairly comfortable. It just feels like... I feel like only two people could sit on it, like, comfortably. Like, you yeah. could fit four people, but you'd be like, right in front of me. Look at this table. I'm really into um, leather right now, and so I really like this chair. I like pretty much anything in leather. It's something I think I want to introduce in our home. Um, I know people are like it's not durable, but it's more durable than polyester. So. True. That's cute. I like it. This is the Leland floor lamp. The one that you've seen in Kiva's videos behind her is the like table lamp version. But here's the bigger one. We've never seen this in person. There she is over there. And it's four ninety nine. I think hers was like two hundred. This is like this is a good example of like quality. So like obviously Ikea has the linen pillows, but you don't see like the, the difference in like the, the thread and the, the weaving here. But you can see it here, right? 
because they're like different shades of gray. I mean green, depending upon like the thread. And how much is it? Uh, this is not the thing. This is something else. It's a hundred dollars. How's it go? Belgian linen. Okay, it looks like this one. Obviously, I don't know the names. I'm just pointing myself. Regardless. That's cute. You can tell that it's a good quality. Thing. Okay, so we just left Pottery Barn. Did not buy anything. I mean, you know, anything that I want from Pottery Barn, I feel like I would have to order because I can't bring us over home from the store. Super fair on their part. Now we're going to Crane Barrow. We could have walked, but I wanted to drive in case we purchased anything. I have my eyes on a few lamps. You might be saying, Keep, where are you going to put the lamp? I don't know. I'll put the lamp wherever I'm called to put the lamp. You know that the big version of your Leland lamp mm -hmm. is 500? Well, the small is 200, so where's the car? Right there. Oh. So I went through this thing with kind of my design where I was like, oh, everyone else is like changing their design. Like maybe like I should be more flexible, but I kind of just like what I like. I really like contemporary design and I'm going to stick to it, even though a lot of other people are going modern organic. And I say that because I feel like a lot of you feel that way sometimes. You're like, well, the trends, uh, things are changing, so I feel like my house should change. Even as like a stylist or a designer or whatever, I feel the same way too. But we like simple, we like the minimal, so I feel like we just want to maintain that, right? Yeah, I feel like our house even now has become more minimal since we got the painted white because we're trying to like put stuff in it that we actually want to keep for a while. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I just like, I like those other styles, but I don't know if I could live with them. I think we feel happy when our house is kind of like empty and everything has like a place and we've not mastered that yet at all. Kiva's now focused <laughs> on putting more like um, art that she really likes on the walls so that I feel like our furniture should go around that versus the other way. Yeah, so something so if you don't know i grew up with my grandmother and she's an artist so you know from a young age i learned that you know you should invest in your art so i've always said this to you guys like don't invest in art if you don't if you're not passionate about it which is why to date a lot of our artwork has been like digital prints because there's not been anything that really spoke to us and when i say us i really mean me my wife just isn't into art like that um yeah i like like or dislike but i'm not like I love that. I need mm -hmm. it. So. so I've spent like months like looking for like the perfect artist for us to commission from. Um, and it was something that I really wanted to invest in and was worth like a large sum of money to me. So we actually found an artist um, who he's is, already started. Yeah, um, he's already started and he's kind of making like my dream piece of art um and i think i actually shared it with you guys on instagram and you were like that's something you could diy that's definitely true um you could diy anything but to me it was really important to one invest in an artist um to have a piece of art that was really perfectly and like intentionally crafted because i will say my diys are kind of like you know i just kind of like vomit no, whatever i'm true. doing and i feel like it meant it we told her grandmother yesterday and i feel like it meant a lot to her that you were like putting money into something that she valued a lot yeah and i will also say that like the the type of art we're having done has to do with like mental health and stuff like that which is something that's really important to me um and us in general so it, it was worth the investment all of that to say um art collecting is something that i've always wanted to get into um so, you know, Cater Boley is an artist that, like, I really deeply care about. Um, I have so high and low for his artwork. When we can, you know, invest in one of his original pieces, that's what we'll we do. Will, yeah. um, you know, I art is really what I want our walls to, like, have all on it. So I don't really care as much about the furniture. The furniture, like Babe said, is meant to complement that. I said it in a really roundabout way, um, and she was very direct, <laughs> but I felt like I wanted to explain yeah. to you. So now we're going to Crate and Crate Barrow. Barrow to look around um faux greenery lamps um i'm not sure really anything she recently bought one of our friends lives in baltimore and went to the restoration hardware outlet and bought you a bunch of faux greenery oh i forgot <laughs> <laughs> so then never mind i don't know i guess i don't really have a reason to go i think we're just kind of taking a day to like decompress um you guys know I do YouTube and then we also do um, our business or my business. Um, so I just wanted to take a day off and like kind of yeah, shop have and fun have fun. Shopping. Yeah, so anyway, we're headed to Crate and Braille. I have this client in California 
and she needs a pure white umbrella. And look, I found one, but I think the one I found on Wayfair is actually cheaper. But still, I'm, I like that one. You gonna buy that for us? For what we don't have now? <laughs> I like the sofa. Oh, I like the sofa. Wait, hold on. This is the Pacific. Yeah. I love that. You just throw stuff all in there. I also love this bowl. That's literally perfect. Oh my gosh. Let's see. So you say Kiva, haven't you had so many coffee tables? Yeah. So all of our furniture we bought before I did any styling, before I did face planning, our house is like the poster child for like higher design <laughs> or like space plan. Look at so, that painting. I'm not hip enough to type with one hand. I try to be. Okay, let's see. Looks like it comes in black. It does. Look at that. Charcoal. I like that. I'm going to keep that on the horizon there. I What's really the delivery like time? Mid October. Let's put All it right. in there. Early October. Look at that. <laughs> All right, well, there's one lady here who's always really rude to me, but if she's not here, I'll ask someone. Oh, yeah. This is a thousand? Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's huge. Yeah, it's a thousand. It comes in, like, different colors, right? The black one for the project we were talking about this morning, right? Yeah. Big for that wall. Sure. Like, a thousand, like, pretty decent Looks good. Pure linen. But now that I've seen it in person, there's actually one from Urban that I think I like more. That's cheaper. So it's only $179. I feel like it's pretty decent for the size. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. <laughs> this is the Leanne Four Couch, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like very spooky. Very sludgy. Looks like it Ever. It looks beautiful in the picture, though. Okay. Let's talk about the chair. These ones are better than the ones from CB2, I think. Like, the sculpture ones. I think these are a bit taller. I don't know. I feel like every time I look at them, I look cute. Oh, no. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, I was gonna say I don't like the color. Oh, I know, I believe that. It's nine hundred dollars. That seems like a lot. I like this one. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> Which one? Do you I don't like that one. Wait, this is this one. <laughs> I like that one. They have this on Amazon for ninety dollars. <laughs> This is the bedding we have, right? We have this bedding? This one. We like this one a lot. A bunch. We're gonna show you guys our room soon. Our room has gone through a lot. I'm having it repainted and then I'll show it to you. The reason I don't show it, it's so dark in there, but you can't see anything. So yeah. painting it is really gonna help. So we've never tried these. So this is their linen? Pure linen. I bet it's 300, how much is that? 300. King Duvet 259. I like this one. Is it navy? I think it's a charcoal, but I have no idea. This is the one we have. No, we don't have this one. Oh, we don't? I showed the one we have. We have organic cotton. Hemp, hemp fiber seems nice. It's kind of scratchy. This one is nice, but they also again something that target, so. I feel like you've tried to buy that in the past. Oh, those are cool. The outdoor? Yeah. This looks like this, um, 
you know, shoes that you can get, those water shoes that look like homes, but it's cute. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's cool. <laughs> Dining chair. Oh, yeah. Linen. Remy linen floor lamp. That's cute. Oh, that painting is nice. I just feel like they're really nice and big. Yeah, I feel like you can make this up. Yeah. Guys, I've been wanting this for so long. I love it. I gotta get it. She always carries the vase around. Like there's not 10 other ones in the store. I'm sorry, there are two other ones yes. in the store. There's definitely some in the bag. I'm with you on that. I love this. Guys, <laughs> when we were in college, the most expensive dinner we ever went to, we went to the melting pot and it was like really a time. And we haven't been since. Look at that. It looks cute. This one. I feel you like you just, yeah, I feel like that's electric, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we could do this, like you, me, Shohini, and Neil. Yeah, that'd be fun. Couple date night. The fondue pudding would be so fun. So cute. Can we get that? Yeah, let's get that. You can get it. There's four of those, so I can let it sit. <laughs> I love this for Halloween, but you have to buy the whole KitchenAid. I already have a KitchenAid. KitchenAid is mind you that you do not use, which makes it worse. I feel like we see this a lot online. It's really tall. It is tall. $16.99. That's actually really cheap for a pipe. That's great. But I like all the shelves around. It's cute. I did. I think I really want that, but if the framework is good, then we'll just send him stuff and have a frame, right? Yeah, that's cute. Oh, yeah. This is the table we saw earlier in black. But it doesn't have the. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it's kind of like hidden. I really like it. Think about all of the pots I can hide in there. Like this pot. <laughs> no. I like that. I don't really like there's a lot more brown in the top. Yeah, than... I agree. Kinda looks like water stained. <laughs> <laughs> and for that reason it's out. I like that part. I like the sideboard except for the doors on both sides on either. True they are. It looks like I put that together. She likes this chair. Yeah, I like the bench, but. Benches are nice, but like Mirrors. no one comes in our house in the first place, you know, so. Look, there's your, is that a smaller version? That's the size. I think it's the same. This is a big circle mirror. I really like this mirror, but I have enough mirrors. Though. Me too, with the iron. I thought that was a sale, but it's not. <laughs> I lost her, but I'm going to find her now. We will show you when we go home. Ooh, look at these. That is such a good lamp. That's a good nightstand lamp. I really like that. 200. I know. I know. All right, let's go. See you on the other side, kid. <laughs> so we are finally home. Before we end this little shop with me, I did want to show you what we got. So I would say in terms of shopping, we've gotten a lot more selective recently, Casey Weiner. Yeah. <laughs> 
we've gotten a lot more selective recently because you can see our house looks different. We had it painted. As I said earlier, we were coming a little bit more minimal, but we did pick up a few really good things that I do want to share with you. So first, we got this bowl from Home Goods. Um, it's from Tahari. Tahari is like one of my all-time favorite brands for home decor, lighting, and also for clothing. <laughs> Oddly enough, I absolutely love this. This is $20. I didn't actually pick this up for myself. I have a client in mind. She has these really nice bookshelves. So I picked this up for her because I feel like she's really going to love it. I also found the same bowl but in a hammered brass which I also adore. This one was $40. This kind of reminds me of like the hammered brass stuff I have from our house, but I don't think they have a bowl that's like uh, this deep. So I picked this one up. Obviously I would have gotten it from there if I could have. You saw that we also went to Crate and Barrel and we got a few things. So my birthday is actually on Thursday and we thought it'd be really fun for my birthday to do like a little fondue night. We don't go to restaurants that much now still because of the pandemic. So we wanted to do like a melting pot sort of situation at home. So. Thank you, honey. <laughs> so we got the Cuisinart one. They had one that was wooden and they had this one, but this one was cheaper. And the other one, you had to do it by candle. And I just felt like we were not patient enough to wait for a candle to melt our cheese. Um, so we're gonna head to Whole Foods later to get things for that. But that's super fun. I believe it was like $79 or something mm -hmm. to that effect. But I think we're gonna use it that amount. I think it's like a good thing to do for like date night. So again, when you're picking up appliances, make sure they kind of work with like your color scheme also. Like don't get the one that's bright yellow if you're more minimal. Stainless steel, black, stuff like that. Don't get the exposed wood if that doesn't really fit with your style. Now we're going back to home goods because I have to show you this. We got this mirror. So it looks, can you see it? Mm -hmm. So it looks kind of just like our big one we have over there. It also looks like this other one from RH. I'm going to put it right here. I hope, I, I hope there's enough space when I put it up on the screen. Um, but this one was $129 and the one from RH is at least $500. I don't even have to look at it to know that it's at least that amount. And I got two of them and they are really fantastic size. They're going to go in our entryway because I really want a haul of mirrors. And they are wood, like if you scratch them or if you lift them, you can tell that they're solid wood. So for the price, I think that that's exquisite. They had these, oh, we need a little mark on the wall. Don't worry, I have paint to touch it up. <laughs> um, they had this in this color and black. They also had ones that looked identical to our big one. Obviously a small version this size in black and gold, but these are my absolute favorite ones. So we did get two. Got to figure out how to get them up on the wall successfully on the first try, but we'll see. The last thing we got from Home Goods is this book. It is by Harper Design. It's 150 best new interior design ideas. Um, I like to be inspired. I like to have things to flip through. And I find that even on things like Pinterest, um, what is popular at that moment in time is what shows up first, right? You don't always get access to all the things in the world because that's just how like algorithms and search engines work. So I got this book. I'm really excited to flip through it. It's not one that I would put on display necessarily, um, but I also don't display books. <laughs> Most of my books are just tucked away somewhere and I access them when I read them. Um, but I'm really excited to flip through this one. Okay, so this is so cute that Babe and I both picked this out separately and that means like we want it. That's kind of how we like to judge things because I like anything, right? You guys know me. And we picked this up because when you're dealing with the kitchen, you want everything to be in theme, but you also want it to be practical. So this is a really good case in point, especially since we're still wavering about whether or not we're gonna change our countertops because this isn't our forever home. You know, if you're gonna put money into the home, put money into things that actually increase the value of your home. And that isn't really one of them. So we're wavering on that. So for now, noisy so for now we're trying to make little upgrades that enhance the experience that are a little bit more affordable so we're excited to try these out next we picked up this marble brush from crate and barrel again it just really complements the oil and vinegar canister so this is not for actual use it's purely decorative so don't get this wet um, and use this you know for whatever it is you might use it for um but this is really nice and cute again we'll probably use this in the kitchen as a core as well probably just right next to the sink um, but all these things are actually on sale at crate and barrel they had two different clearing sections that i was really impressed with because I feel like places like Crate and Barrel, like right now, you would have a Labor Day sale. They're not actually doing a Labor Day sale. They're doing like a 2x points if you have a card, which a lot of people don't have Crate and Barrel cards, which is totally fair. So it's nice that they did have some clearance items. I think this only ended up being $9. 
And the very last item we got today is this vessel from Crate and Barrel. I've wanted this for months now. Um, I've been sourcing it a lot for clients and I'm just obsessed with it. It is like a charcoal. I wouldn't say it's a true black just because of the texture and the color variations here, but I love the shape of it. I also love that it's narrow because people love styling console tables, but sometimes you buy a vessel and it's way too big. It hangs off the side of the table, which is exactly what you don't want. So I adore this. Um, Crane Barrel really has upped their game with the modern minimal vessels. So I, I, I really am excited about that because before I felt like the only place I could get black or white vessels from was West Elm and I'm not a huge fan of them. So I'm excited to be able to shop at a store that I already love. So that's it for today's video. We did a little shop with me. We went to our favorite stores with the Home Good, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel. Um, I think we went somewhere else as well. I don't remember. We had so much fun today. And those are the things that we picked up, but I think we saw a lot of good things. Let me know down in the comment what things that you love from today's video. Was it the Big Sur Sofa? Was it one of the dining chairs at Pottery Barn? Was it something at Home Goods? Let's chat about it down in the comments. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.